Hello everyone, my name is Giles and I am the owner of Drake Operation Ranch alongside my wife Jasmine. Um, right here we have about maybe a little over four acres, about four and a half acres and we plan to have cattle, um, chickens and also have standard bred horses and also Tennessee walking horses. Um, so I'll kind of just walk through the property today, show you guys around. I kind of want to do it before and after so you can see what it looks like before before we come in and start cutting the trees and grading the property and getting the, getting the fences up and preparing everything for the pastures. So I wanted you guys to see a before and after and just kind of walk along with me and my wife throughout the process of us getting our land exactly like we want it. So come right along. And we'll sort of walk the property a little bit. This is the main entrance. This is the main entrance to get onto the property. Um, Got to get that side cleared and got to get this side clear. But at this point, you can either keep straight and go directly to the back of the property, or you can bust this right and go to the main office and also the headquarters, which will be our office and where our actual house is. Okay, so on this piece of property right here, uh, maybe a little over one and a half acres, we're gonna designate a pasture to this, um, turn this into a pasture for our main prettiest horses we have. They'll be here. And located here, we get all of this uh, cleared and graded out, get some uh, plants and grass, and get some grass coming in good, get some fences put in. But this is kind of going to be the premier area where all of our main prettiest horses and you know the big bull, we'll have him, this will be their living quarters in this area right here. And uh, this is the second gate um, that takes you to the main office and the main shop on the property in the main barn um that's where we'll set up our office and have all our financial stuff and all the documents and everything in that office uh, to keep the operation going you know and this is the main living headquarters i don't know if you can kind of see it in this video or not but i'll take you through there as well um and we're also planning to have our big garden set up right exactly in this area right here this may be about a quarter of an acre we'll designate to having um our garden where we'll grow our own vegetables, our own uh, greens, squash, bell peppers, uh, zucchini, uh, lettuce, romaine lettuce, um, tomatoes, you know, we'll have a little bit of everything here. So we won't have to, the, the objective is not to go to the grocery store for anything. So we'll kind of have everything set up right here so we can feed the family and feed our own house uh, with our own garden. You know, you eat what you grow. And so that's the objective. That's what we're trying to do here. And I'll so this whole area, um, of course, when we get it clear, cleared and graded and everything, this would be the area that we would designate towards for the garden. Um, this should be strictly the garden area. Everything we grow in-house um, for our families and for our main family, for the headquarters, will be grown right here. This is the area we'll designate right here. Get all this cleared off. To this area off. Come up to this area all the way around to the side and straight down. Have this whole area clear strictly for the garden. This will be a shop, house. We'll walk back to the shop. This area right here is designed to have the office in here. Um, this will be the main office located for our uh, ranching operation. Everything will be located here. Also, uh, micro bullies. So we have micro bullies. Uh, we'll start breeding them. And once we have everything ready, we have a kennel set up in the back for those. So if you want to purchase uh, micro bullies from us, we'll have those available as well. And those will be located behind the office. We have a whole section, maybe a quarter of an acre set aside in the back, in the rear, um, strictly for dogs. Everything is on, on this side of the property. They're dealing with dogs and everything on the other side of the property we'll be dealing with uh, cattle and horses back at you so this is going to be the main living headquarters that's where we reside where we get our sleep that's where the love making happens that's where everything happens right there um four bed two bath uh two car garage nice nice space man we got an in-ground pool here, about 26,700 gallons um, of water. Um, it's a saltwater pool. Um, this is where we would kick back in the Georgia summertime, um, have a lot of parties, birthdays, you know, a little bit of everything right here 
um, strictly for our families. You know, any kind of family having kids and you know, they want to throw a birthday party, gender reveal party, anything like that, uh, we'll open our property and the way you can kind of, you know, throw those, throw those uh, festivities and parties here as well. Raised crop beds, that's where we kind of grow some vegetables right now. Uh, until we get the big garden available and cleared, uh, we got a few crops back here we're growing and I'll take you back to this area just to kind of show you around and just show you what we got going. So you, okay, in this area we got designated, we got two raised crop beds and we kind of want to get something started, you know, get, trying to teach my wife how to grow her own vegetables and um, how to plant a seed and watch it grow and kind of be the mother of that particular seed until it grows and matures, until it's point is ready to go and be eating at the dinner table. Uh, right now we have some tomatoes in the back, we got some squash, we got some okra coming in. We got about three watermelon plants here. Um, and the rest of the collard greens, we got some collard greens coming in. It's looking pretty good, looking pretty steady. Uh, I'd say we're about at day maybe 22. And um, some vegetables take, gonna take about 60 days to mature and be ready to eat. And some will take about 80 days to mature and uh, be ready to eat. And I'll also kind of show you um, some of the 12 privacy trees that we planted just to keep privacy and keep our whole backyard area kind of like a resort secluded where nobody can see it. We planted 12 privacy trees, Leland Cypress privacy trees, we planted 12 of those. And we also planted three windmill palm trees just to kind of give it the extra resort feeling um, when you come into the backyard. So it's like every day we're kind of on um, vacation, if you would say. Some of the Leland Cypress trees that we planted. Windmill palms we planted. This is the rear area of the property, kind of in the back, back, back main part. Plan to put it maybe three to four horse barn right here. And maybe put a round pen right here, just for training purposes only. Also build a second barn to park trailers, horse trailers, ATVs, tractors, things of that nature we'll park in that area. And um, yeah, once we get all this cleared, man, I just, I think it's going to come out great and be a beautiful place to come and see. Um, just be on the lookout of Drake Operations Ranch. We'll post more videos as we move along and as progress gets starts to get done on the property. But I kind of just want to give you guys a before and along the way and an after so you can kind of see where we came from. It's going to be big. We've got big plans for this property. We've got a lot we're trying to do, you know, a lot we're trying to accomplish. And the ultimate goal is to create, you know, generational wealth for my wife and myself and the family, okay? So just kind of want to, you know, introduce myself and show what we have going here. And like I say, we'll start posting more videos on YouTube. I'm new to the YouTube things so and we're gonna post more videos and, you know, um, we'll see how it goes. Please like and subscribe and follow us, you know, and leave some comments, let us know, you know, if you got any input or anything, or you know somebody who kind of in this field, you know what I mean? But just give us a, Give us some ideas and let us know what you think, okay? All right? Like I say, I think it's going to be a beautiful place, man. Got a lot of big plans for this thing. A lot, a lot of big plans. A lot of money we invested into this. And we're just, you know, very curious and optimistic to see exactly how it turns out. Um, it's some beautiful places. I might just get a chance to capture all these places on the video. But like I said, I'll be posting more videos to keep you guys aware of what we're doing, what we got going on. And so you can kind of see the journey, you know, people so beat me, you know, we're going to embrace the journey. We're going to love this journey and we're going to see all the different possibilities that comes behind this. Okay. Peace.